today is both a sad and a happy day. Sad? It's sad because we had to say goodbye to the meatball yesterday. That was not sad. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't sad. <laughs> so today is a total happy day. Uh, we have some fantastic things going on. But I, I did mention yesterday that I had some super big news to is reveal. The super big news that I'm starting a muffin? No. But, but that is big news too. Kathy has, has completed her meatball. Thanks for you know taking the attention away from my super big news to your muffin. That's super big I'm not news. even sure you're allowed to say it's that. It's a big muffin too. Okay, what? it is a big muffin. <laughs> That's my wife for you. Okay, so... Um, your news is probably gonna pale in comparison. My news always pales in comparison to your, your muffins and meatballs. Uh, the news today, which I'm very excited to announce, um, is actually the reveal of a reveal. So we are not revealing our SEMA car today, what the car is, but we are picking the car up on Saturday and we will be revealing it on Sunday's vlog. Did you just yawn? What? Okay, so once again, we're picking the car up on Saturday from the Automobile Driving Museum, which is where we've gotten the car from, and we're and you'll be able to see what the car is on Sunday's vlog. So don't miss Sunday's vlog. And until then, we're going to the gym. All right. Tim, hurry up! I got to get to the gym. out into Thousand Oaks going to a Mercedes dealership which is Silver Star Mercedes uh, they're out in Thousand Oaks as I said and we're meeting up with my good friend Sean uh, you may know Sean from past vlogs he was at the Auto Gallery previously we drove some McLarens and some some very cool cars uh, he's now at a Mercedes place he shot me an email and invited me out to this Mercedes dealership I met with the GM named Scott and uh, we struck up some funness. So it looks like today we're gonna to drive our first Mercedes. I have no idea what it is, but whichever model it's gonna be, you know, Mercedes makes some pretty amazing cars, so it should be fun. Sean, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Fireball. It's always a pleasure to see you, brother. Um, I, um, I joined recently Silver Star uh, Mercedes-Benz, actually uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, opportunity came up, knocked, I opened the door and I answered and I'm here. I'm very excited to be here. Fireball, as usual, very excited to have you. Today I have something very exquisite for you. It's a, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because it's exciting. It's the G65 AMG, one of the most expensive cars that Mercedes-Benz creates and puts out in the market for the public. It is packed with power, it is packed with features, and it is just plain cool. The G65 AMG Mercedes-Benz packs a lot of power. 621 horsepower, 738 foot-pounds of torque. This, is, this thing has more torque than a McLaren. The way this car is equipped, the one we're going to drive today, is $218,000. That's close to a quarter million dollar. That's exciting. It takes a very special kind of person to own a car like this. And I had many other cars. I had Lamborghinis, I had Ferraris, I had Phantoms, Rolls Royce, but I'm right now, I'm only happy with Mercedes Benz. The only reason I like the G65, the only reason I'm here at this dealership getting the G65, they're first of all very unique. There are not that many of them out there. The set amount is made. And as a V12 by Turbo is the first year in 2016 that they just brought that car out. It's never been built before. It's the first car that has a V12 by Turbo as a G class. And then 
As far as everything goes, it's very beautiful the way it's built. If you look at it, it has a carbon fiber engine, drives very smoothly. And the biggest reason is because no one has it. And I want to be the first one who has it. And I'm excited about it. Every car has their own beauty to it. And I always, since I was a little kid, I always told my dad, the first time I told him I wanted to buy a Corvette, and he told me when I was 16, he's like, you don't have a license, why do you want to get a Corvette? I said, I want to be different. I want to have no license and have a car. And then just because of that, I always tried, and I went and bought the first Corvette, I was so excited, and then I wanted another car, and I wanted another car, and then I realized there's so many cars out there, why not? If I can, why not have all of them? And I worked so hard when I was 15 years old, other people were driving nice cars, and I wasn't driving a nice car. I was investing my money in real estate, and then now, look at me, I got 40 cars. And it wasn't easy, but I did it, and I'm proud of it. All right, we're about to drive a very serious machine. Not this one, this is the base model, basically. What we're about to drive is crazy. $220,000 and uh, we're just trying to get out of the parking lot. There's no problem. Whatever you ding, just make sure it's another Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. how, how many of these do you sell at this dealership? Oh, it's, it's very, very seldom that we have one. Maybe like six a year, seven a year, something like Whoa. that. Now, Sean is driving uh, not because he's not allowing me to drive or because I'm scared of driving, although I, I'm just a little bit nervous about this car. This car has a V12. Twin turbo. Twin turbo, and it weighs about 7,000 pounds, and it hauls ass for a car. It feels like it weighs 2,000 pounds, and it's got 800 horsepower. We're gonna take it up into the hills a little bit, full round, in a $220,000 car. <laughs> but the guy hasn't bought it yet, right? No, no. Not, not yet. Okay, so he doesn't technically own the car yet. So a couple he, hours. He may not want it after we do what we do, but. <laughs> Very precise steering. Incredible steering. Alright, we just finished driving this incredible car. Thank you. How man. exciting was that? That was a blast. Nice. That was really cool. Did you grab the keys? I did like well. <laughs> In your pocket. Damn. Damn. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had it. Oh well. The choice for Mercedes came 2002, 2003. A few of my friends had them. Everybody loves them, but I wasn't really, there was, the passion was there. I liked them. I mean, I appreciate them. When you, when you see the Mercedes get built, when you see the passion that's gone into them, the heritage, the 100,000 plus patents, and the reasons behind it, which is really just that everybody enjoys. I mean, the, the, the machine and you are one, and it's just one of the unbelievable vehicles, unbelievable toys that come on them and traction control and things that save our lives all the way to, to make them fun just from the time we start them up and you hear that throaty roar of the of the new AMG motors. So the, the passion for the cars, it's really, it's more than that. I mean, I, it's obviously what I do for an industry, but it's it's a passion. It was born from when I was a child and anything that I could take apart and put back together with my grandfather was just, I mean, it was gold. Okay, so I'm five years old and the man needed to redo a motor for my aunt on her car and he would not do it himself and he made me do it with box and uh, wrenches and we spent 30 days taking apart an engine and putting it back together it something at would have taken him at five years old it would have taken him probably you know I don't know we probably would have taken him an afternoon to redo a four-cylinder Toyota engine you know so so 
I'd have to sit there, and he would leave me alone for a few minutes. I'd go grab a ratchet set and you know start cranking on some things. He'd hear the ratchet, he'd come back out. No, you've got to do it this way. So I was not allowed to ride a bicycle until I could take it apart and put it back together. I was not allowed to ride my mini bike until I could take it apart and put it back together. I was not allowed to drive a car until I could take it apart and put it back together. And uh, it just kind of stuck. It's just a passion. It just, it, it's, it's a great place to get positive energy. All right, fantastic time uh, with Sean and Scott and Jason. Just a really great group of guys. Uh, really neat dealership, but boy, that car is just fantastic. We'll be going back several times to drive some more of the uh, Mercedes models. Uh, there's a lot of different cars there, a lot of really great engine versions, a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to go back and check them out in future vlogs. We are one away from 250 vlogs. Very excited. We're also one day closer to revealing our SEMA car. Getting very close, man. You guys are going to love it. It's super cool, as I said. We'll see you tomorrow.